everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to share uh, my latest design team project for Seneca Pond Crafts. Um, this is using the Retro Chic Sewing Journal Kit. Um, this is a really big kit and this has been different for me because um, I've been wanting to work on my Coptic Stitch. So. Um, the kit is beautiful, um, it's, but in my, my project here, um, I've just used basically the uh, papers from the kit. So check that kit out because there's a lot more in it than what you're going to see within this journal. But I wanted to do something different uh, for myself and, and to demonstrate to you guys, that, you know, to think outside the box with these kits because there's so much more you can be doing with them, and I, I'm guilty as anyone um, of not finding the time to do these things. But um, I'm really pleased with how this has come out. It's a, um, let's see, it's about five and a half by eight and a half, and I've ended up putting uh, nine signatures in here, and each signature's got five pages, so it's it's in excess of 200 pages. Uh, for this journal, but isn't the uh, papers, they're just beautiful because they're all collage with very uh, vintage images and then some, you know, sewing um, threads and pins and things. It's just beautiful. Um, and like I said, you know, I, it's just something I've been wanting to do. Uh, I showed you guys this book a while back I purchased from uh, Hobby Lobby when it was everything was like 75% off. This is just such an inspiring book. Um, if you guys are looking for something that gives you some um, some ideas on some different types of bindings I highly recommend it. Um, I've tried uh, to use the instruction for the Coptic binding, but I'll be honest, my learning style uh, is more visual. So I jumped online, and obviously YouTube is full of um, tutorials, and I just followed one online to do this. Um, take some practice, um, and obviously it's something I'm going to have to spend a bit more time on because there's a couple of things, you know, aren't perfect on it. This is going to be my own journal because I like the fact that with using the Coptic um, binding technique everything will lie flat which is perfect for um, for journaling. So yeah this is going to be for my own use but I just want to show you guys the papers within this kit are just they're so pretty. Um, I've got a few other ones. Let me see what I've done with them. Uh, this is some of the um, other papers within the kit that I, I haven't used these yet, but um, I'm probably going to go back and add a pocket to the front and the back so I can chuck some things in there. Um, but these, these are more of the pages. I've printed them out because when I first um, got the kit, I was just going to go with like a one signature, um, look at those, aren't those gorgeous, um, journal. But then I thought, oh, actually with the collage, I love that page. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, with the collaging, I just thought this suited uh, this type of journal so well. So I thought, oh yeah, this is it. This is the time to do my uh, different bindings. So what I did was each signature, like I said, there's nine of them, and I'm just going to show you because everything else I've just done plain, but um, Eileen also has a background um, page. So what I did is I just ran this back through so that I'd have some design on that, but I'm just going to go through so you guys can see really quickly. Um, they're just beautiful beautiful kit. Uh, I like the fresh colors because I love most of the sewing kits I, I seem to find uh, people are using are very um, you know 
darker colors um, and I really wanted something fresh and bright um, I, and I, it's just totally um, what I was I was looking for so like I said I put I ended up putting nine um, signatures in here so it's gonna this is gonna last me quite a while for um, just writing notes in and what I like about this um, this type of journal is when I'm out and about <clears throat> I can just throw it in and I haven't done a lot of embellishing on it because I knew you know I'm just going to shove this in and take it with me and that way I can jot down things along the way but I just wanted to share that with you guys today and I will put the link below to Eileen's shop that's Seneca Pond Crafts on Etsy if you're interested you can have a look because she's got um, like I said, it's a big, big kit, so you can, there's lots of tags and pockets, um, so there's a lot more to it than what you're seeing within this journal, but I did want to do something a little bit different today and show you that, so check it out, and like I said, if you're interested in the Coptic Stitch, do some checking on um, YouTube and give it a try. Uh, it, it's really, you know, it's like anything. The more you practice, the better you're going to get with it. So that's that. Um, the other thing I wanted to do today was just quickly do a, a flip through on um, these little minis that I've added to my shop. I've got four of them, and I've called these Farm Fresh. They're all basically the same. I'm just going to go through one so you can get an idea of what... Um, what they're like inside because these I've kept really simple um, because there's lots of writing space and what I my thinking on this too is these smaller journals are really nice just to keep with you when you're you know out and about and you just want something to jot down notes in. Um, it's got three pockets. I've got one here on, on this one and then on the back and these are trifolds. It's a trifold again and each of them's got some little tags and journaling cards within and I believe oh I don't remember how many pages sorry I um it's in the listing so just really quickly I'll just give you a, a little taste of what it is there um, book you know some vintage book pages some ledger sheets some um, coffee uh, no sorry tea dyed some of the Edith Holden I've trimmed down um, a bit of tracing paper that's been tea dyed, and then some old music paper. I've stuck that in, and then um, this is the center of the signature. And as far as tags, I've just I've included one of the little cotton, handmade cotton tags, and then just various shapes of uh, plain tags for you guys to uh, make little notes on and you could easily add more pockets if you wanted to um, and then on the back pocket I put in one of the little vintage seed packet uh, journal cards there so those are the little farm fresh mini journals that I've added recently and like I said all of them are um, laid out the same so if you're interested in those just take a look in my shop. These are on there for sale. Um, lots of projects on the go, guys. I've got fabric journals coming up. I'm going to be doing some of the faux Midori um, based on um, Yvonne Preston's tutorial. Love that. So I'm super excited to get started on that. Um, gosh, just so many things. My head's spinning, guys. Um, so stay tuned, and you'll definitely be seeing more of, of this style journal. Um, like I said, this one's going to be for myself, but um, once I've mastered it and feel um, that it's ready, you know, I will be adding some of these to the shops, you know, for anybody that's interested in those. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to drop in really quickly, but I will be back. Um, the other thing I'm working on now is some more of my ephemera bundles uh, with the waxed um, paper bags that I've turned into little um, f folders that hold all the you know tea bag art and that sort of thing. Those will be in my shop hopefully. Well, they'll definitely be in there by the end of the week, so I'll have a video for those coming up too. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll be back soon. Bye!